Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the IRS and the tax refunds that a lot of people are getting back are somewhat lower, slightly lower, or really, really lower than expected. I'm going to go over the reasons why this is exactly true. Before we get into the video, guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We have one more new subscriber. That is right, guys. Every day it is growing little by little on the channel. So a big shout out to our new subscriber to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into it. So overall, guys, there's a lot of combinations of things that is really going on. Um, if you're banking on a tax refund, a lot of, like a lot of Americans are, last couple of years have been really good. And that is because the government has actually given us additional credits depending on your situation. So actually getting a much larger refund, which this is the first year in 2023 that those refunds or those tax credits are going to end. Now, if you've overpaid your taxes or if they've withheld a lot more than you owe, you honestly want to, you'll be getting a refund. But again, it might be a little bit lower, less generous tax breaks, all of the pandemic. So all of the COVID, the, the pandemic um, tax relief breaks are completely gone. That is one of the big reasons, again, why it is going to be a lot lower. So making sure, guys, the, the goal of taxes, in my opinion, and again, I'm not a tax advisor, I'm not an accountant, um, is to kind of get to zero, which means that you will not get a refund at the end of the year. Um, I know a lot of people kind of do bank on the refund, but essentially what you're doing is throughout the year, you're giving money to the IRS. The IRS is just holding on to your money to give it back to you the following year, which is kind of an interesting way. It's almost a forced savings plan for some people. Now, coupled with this, the issue is right now, it is kind of a, a double-edged sword because with inflation being so high, the dollar is very strong. In addition, with inflation being so high, not only are we seeing a lot of cost of goods, rent has went up, the cost of gas has went up, the cost of pretty much everything across the board, including food, has increased dramatically. Now, because of, because of that, there are a lot of Americans, again, that really rely on the tax refund that they're getting. If they got, you know, 4,000 back, 6,000 back, whatever it may be last time, um, the average refund in looking back in older seasons were was about $3,000. Um, before that, it was about $2,000, and they think it is going to be even lower than that $3,000 mark again this year because of course the tax filings. So why are they smaller? Um, the big one is the American Rescue Plan of 2021. If you have children, you got $3,600 per child, which was a credit. In addition, you got up to $4,000 of dependent care. So if you did have to utilize dependent care, whether it's daycare, things of that nature, um, you could actually get a tax credit on top of the child tax credit that you're receiving um, before, which again, can amount if you have two or three children, it can be a very, very big refund. Now, that was the American Rescue Plan of 2021, which again, now those tax breaks from previous years are completely gone. So your 3,600 per child now goes to $2,000 per child. So a $1,600 reduction in tax credits per child. So you figure if you're a family of two, that is $3,200 in reductions right off the top that you're getting. So we got a $5,000 refund last year. It might be $1,800 this year, which again is really huge. And then the dependent child tax credit reverted to $1,050 per dependent. So again, you have two children, that is $2,000 or $2,100 in total that you can get, which is down from the $4,000 per dependent again, that we had previously. So again, that can be a very, very big reduction when it comes to the actual refund that you're going to be receiving. <clears throat> the other way it could be affected, guys, is with the third stimulus package. Now, there was a chance on your 2021 return going into the 2022 season um, to, to claim the stimulus package if you didn't receive it yet, which again could kind of padded the refunds in the previous years. Now, there are a couple changes that have happened to the tax laws. There are a couple of the brackets have changed. So depending where you fall, I'm not going to go over that today, but it is very, very important information. Make sure you know exactly how much you owe and where you should be paying your taxes. Now, Reducing the tax bill. This is one of the biggest things by April 18th. We know is the tax deadline. 
um, trying to increase your refund and essentially trim the bill that you owe. There are a couple very easy ways to do that. Number one being contributions into a IRA. So if you contribute money into an IRA, as long as you're eligible for it, as long as you stay within limits, um, you can actually deduct that income from your taxable income. So if you're you know, an individual that makes $50,000, you drop $5,000 in an IRA, now you're technically only paying tax on a $45,000 bill, which is much lower depending on what your contributions were through the year. Now, in addition, if you do have a, and qualify for a high deductible healthcare plan, you can utilize HSAs or health savings accounts to go ahead and make additional contributions in there again, which work very similar to, um, work very similar to the IRA money that you put in there. So you'll actually get that deductible deduction for the year. The previous year is the contributions you want to make to again, reduce that deductible income. All right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. I just wanted to kind of put something out there, show you exactly why when you're doing your taxes, when you're seeing a much smaller refund, I'm not sure if a lot of people do TurboTax, do a lot of other ways, um, even like H&R Block refunds, where you don't have an actual person to sit and ask questions and kind of talk to. That is the reason why I kind of wanted to cover it. Um, I, I get a lot of questions about this particularly in my field of work. And again, I, I wanted to kind of break down exactly why the refunds are looking smaller. And I've even heard it from a couple different people that the refunds are ever, are significantly smaller. Um, so if you're banking on a refund, be aware it is going to be smaller. That is according to the IRS, guys. The IRS has told us the refunds this year due to the tax breaks, things of that nature, are going to be smaller. If you expect a federal refund, expect a federal refund if you overpaid your taxes or withheld more than you owe, which again is a majority of people, but you still want to try to get to that zero number um, so you don't actually get a refund, but you get more money through the entire year. Then of course, guys, final point, your 2022 refund will be smaller because we have less generous tax breaks and the pandemic relief has expired again across the board. So all right, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.